So if we, uh, the first thing we'll do is, okay, my, my device is connected to my computer with a USB cable and I have entered my pin, right? So uh, that's first and foremost. So a lot of times people will, they don't get the, they don't understand that they need to have the device connected to make this stuff work, right? So uh, let's go into, the first thing we'll do is just, uh, we'll, we'll go into an account and we'll attempt to do a receive. And it's, it wants to verify that the hardware is there. So it's going to, uh, right, it's going to ask me to open up the Ethereum app in order to verify the hardware, right? This is a basic hardware verification step. Notice what happens, right? I see on my device, it says verify address. I'll hit the metal button and go over here and it says, um, it gets, shows me the address on my device. It shows the address on the screen. I can match, match those two and then I know, boom, that the uh, address is the account, right? Because we're talking about accounts. Right, Ledger Live calls them accounts. You might want to also call them wallets. Right, they are in a sense they are wallets. Right, but when you're using a Ledger hardware wallet, then they're the combination of the device and the software basically is the wallet. But you can also think as each individual account as a wallet. All right, so. In order for the wallet to function, it needs to connect to the device and the device has to authorize transactions. So if you're trying to use your uh, Ethereum account and you click receive and you get something along the lines of, let's see if I can find one that's not, I think I've, okay, here, this one. This account was created with my Ledger Nano S Plus. All right. So if I go to this account and I do a receive, watch what, watch the error message that I'm going to get. All right. This error message is telling me basically that I have the wrong device attached, right? But it's, it's a, it's a mouthful. Please check that your hardware wallet is set up with the recovery phrase or passphrase associated with the selected account, right? It could, it could be a little more clear, right? It could say, hey, you seem to have the wrong device attached, or the device you have attached is not set up with the recovery phrase or passphrase, right? But this error message is the bane of most newcomers' existence, right? You'll get this a lot if you have the wrong device attached or if you've accidentally reset your device and set it up with a different passphrase, right? If, you re, if, you, if the device gets wiped, reset to factory, and then you set it up again with a different uh, pass or, or backup phrase, then when you go to connect to your original account, it's going to give you this error message. So this happens a lot. Now, there's also another message that's just like, hey, the device isn't attached at all, right? So we can do that by just disconnecting the device. So when we do a receive, uh, you're going to get the message that says, hey, the device isn't attached. Now, some people get this message even when their device is attached, right? And that is also very frustrating. Okay, there. Connect and unlock your device. I think this is what Debbie was getting a lot. My device is connected, but I'm still getting this message telling me that I need to connect the device. And this, and you know, her description of this is Ledger Live does not recognize my device, right? So why would we? It's obvious why I'm getting it, right? The device isn't connected, right? So if I connect the device and enter my PIN, this should go away, right? All right, so now that I've connected the device and entered my PIN, uh, I can retry now.
and it should work. Oh, okay, now we're back to the, hey, it's the wrong device message, right? So if I really wanted to check this account, I would need to get out my Ledger Nano S Plus and connect that device, and then it would work, right? But I can go back over to one of the other accounts that I know was created with this Ledger Nano X, and it should work. All right, see, we, we get the nice little connection dance, right? And we go through this. So what could cause that please connect your device message? If I only have one device with one backup phrase and it is connected and I've entered my pin and I'm still getting the, hey, please connect your device message, what could cause that? Well, now there's nothing mysterious about crypto that is causing that error message. This boils down to hardware issues, right? It's, it's possible that there's something wrong with your device, but very, very unlikely, right? More likely is that there is a connection issue between the device and your computer. So uh, a couple of things we could try. Well, we can disconnect and reconnect. First thing I always suggest, right, could just be one of those, you know, one of those things, right? It's just, it's not in a good mood today. It won't connect to your computer. Disconnect it and reconnect it. See if that works. 80% of the time, it fixes your issue, right? If that doesn't work, then try rebooting your computer and trying and then trying again. That'll fix it in many cases, all right? So if disconnecting and reconnecting doesn't work, then try rebooting the computer. Those are two of the easiest strategies which are non-invasive, right? They don't require you to go through all kinds of, you know, headaches and jump through hoops and, re, re, uh, you know, uh, restore the device or do anything crazy, right? Disconnect, reconnect, reboot your computer fixes most of your problems right away. Okay, suppose that doesn't work. Then what? Well, we can always try a different USB port, right? My desktop has like eight USB ports. So I could try, well, more than that because there's like four on the case, two in the front, right? So I've got like 10 or 12, right? So uh, try a different USB port. Maybe that'll work. Right now, uh, I happen to have a lot of USB devices attached to my computer. I've got webcams, I've got mics, uh, I got all kinds of stuff connected. Right? Maybe you might try if you're like that. You might want to disconnect some of your uh, unnecessary devices and just try to connect the ledger to isolate the issue. Right? I know you want to have all your devices connected and deal with the ledger, which I do too. But sometimes you have to do a little bit of troubleshooting to figure out you know, if it's the device or if it's the USB configuration. All right? If you can't troubleshoot that, then you're, the next thing you can try is a different cable. Right? A lot of people think, oh, the cable... I, it came with my device. It's specific to my device. Uh, I have to use that cable. Not necessarily. It's basically, it's a regular USB cable, USB-C. So if you have another USB-C cable laying around, try that. See if that works. A lot of problems get solved that way as well. All right. So once you get to the point of, okay, I know I, I know I have the right device. I know I have the right backup phrase. I know it's connected to my computer and it's still not being recognized, then it, it's beyond the ledger problem. It becomes a connection issue with a gadget, right? And we've been doing that kind of stuff for years, right? Connect our phone, connect our uh, USB hub, connect our printers, connect our webcams, you know, those are issues. Oh, another thing that uh, Joseph mentioned, I believe it was Joseph, he said that, uh, he was trying to do the firmware update, 
and uh, he had his wireless mouse connected to his laptop. And when he uh, the the firmware update was failing, so he removed the wireless dongle for his wireless mouse, and lo and behold, everything the firmware update worked. All right, so he had to use the trackpad for a few minutes. So I did kind of want to cover the troubleshooting issues. You need to stay calm, right? And I know sometimes you end up going in circles and you've tried something. You get to the point where you've lost your sense of logic, right? You just get desperate and it seems like nothing works. And then you're not open to suggestions at that point. Right. Anytime someone says, hey, why don't you try this? Oh, I've already done that. I've already done that. I've already done that. And then they're not willing to, like, go through step by step troubleshooting. Right. So you need to just stay calm when things go crazy. (laughs) It's just a USB gadget. Right. It's it's complicated. It does crypto, all that good stuff. But at its heart, it's just a. Uh, another USB gadget connected to your computer. All right. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with the ledger. Here, let's get this out of the way. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.